the AK-47. Arguably the most used weapon on Rust console. Now the AK itself isn't even in the top 5 weapons to deal damage to a player. Looking at the statistics for the AK-47 within Rust console, the damage dealt to a player is 50, accuracy is 4, range is 188 and recoil is 36.4. The AK-47 has the most iconic recoil that Rust has seen. It's the one that everyone wants to perfect, whether you want to do it legitly or you couldn't do it legitly and you move to such devices. But the age old question is how do you get better using the AK-47 if you're on a legit controller? Now there's many factors as to how you can be better using the weapon. And there's many factors to suggest why you're better one day as opposed to yesterday. Whether you're a chill player or you get high adrenaline from the fights you get within the PvP that Rust console provides. However, today from a legit perspective, I'm going to give you the tips from a player from beta that has over 5 thousand hours on the game and a lot of experience with pvp on how to get better using and controlling the recoil for the ak-47 to start off we have to look at the recoil itself that the ak has the ak-47 possesses different recoil depending on the attachments and whether you're aiming in or not so if you're aiming in whether it's iron sight or hollow it will have a different recoil pattern to where if you were hip firing. That we know of, there are four different variants the AK has for its recoil. There is potential for a fifth variant, which is when you're crouched. People seem to think that when you crouch, you have a better recoil control or that the pattern itself is easier, which to my opinion, I don't think there is. I could totally be wrong on that. However, doing a side by side comparison of stand and, and crouch, it doesn't look as if there's much change. The different recoil patterns that the AK has is aim down sight, hip fire, and with attachments of the 4X or extended max. What you're gonna be seeing on screen is my settings. Now over the years, my settings have changed drastically, keeping up with what I think is best within Rust console. But settings is really where you're gonna get the best recoil control, which is where you find the settings for you. The settings I have in the background might not be your cup of tea. However, if these settings that I have supplied in the background for you merely help you just to adjust and tweak the settings so they would make you better overall control and recall then that's as much as i can do regarding the settings because you could be a player that is just used to low sensitivity where you play other games or used to high sensitivity i myself i've said plenty of times we're part of the trick trying era so my sensitivity on games has always been high one tip i would recommend that has helped me in the long run is to disable quick chat now quick chat is where you press your right bumper down to then enable you to make quick phrases such as I need scrap, hello, let's go, etc. And to also do emotes. Now in my case, when I'm in a fight, I'm very focused and very tense. This will cause me to press the right bumper down when controlling recoil and to then bring up the quick chat. This in many of occasions has resulted in me dying. So if you're the same and you're very tense and you press your right bumper down, whether you're PlayStation or Xbox, I would advise to disable the quick chat. Now this is the spray that the AK has without any type of attachments that will give it a different spray or just from hip fire and this is from aiming in from iron sight or hollow as you can see it's a backwards s we once had the pc recoil but it was dumbed down to obviously fit a controller now what i would start doing if i was you or if i was new to the game is to practice just basically doing a normal s going against the recoil and trying to pinpoint your spray to be a dot that's the first way i started off learning the recoil and trying to get it to where it is today it'd be to just learn that you know you have to do it in an s type of form and luckily for you guys who are new to this game you now have target practices or target practices on community servers that make it even easier to you know test your spray and get better so you know there's a lot of ways for you to kind of get up to speed with being a good player and to be able to control the recoil. But ultimately, the way I've learned to control the AK recoil is to just aim at something and keep my aim on there. So whilst I did learn that, you know, I just had to go against the backwards S, once I kind of figured that part out, it was to then just keep the hollow sight or the iron sight, or whatever sight you're using, on a type of player or on a flame type, for example, that you use on target practice or just anything that I wanted to keep the aim on, I would do just that. Because if you think, oh God, I have to do a S and counterpart the backwards S, you're kind of just thinking more about that than actually trying to pinpoint your spray, making it a dot on the certain thing you're shooting. So once you've kind of got to grips that, you know, it's a backwards S and you have to do the S to counter this, the next stage would be to just keep your aim on the certain player or object you're aiming at. 
Now just practice and do a couple sprays, whether it be on a metal wall or a flame turret. Keep doing the practice sprays to kind of just get better and get warmed up, if you will. But one important factor that people don't really cover within their videos to do with getting better at handling the recoil is that there's two things that people fail to cover. Now, whilst sure, it helps if you have a really good 30 bullet recoil control for the AK, but it's not actually necessary. If you get your 10 to 15, maybe less bullets correct and in a dot, that's all you need. You don't need to be able to spray 30 bullets and have a dot spray because 30 bullets is meaningless. This is due to that it doesn't take that many bullets to kill someone unless you're body shotting all the time with an AK. Get your 10 to 15 bullets straight and you're good to go. The other 15 to the 30 max, it, there's no point in kind of getting that down to a dot. However, yes, it does help if you are shooting from a distance. And the second thing is, is the hitbox for the player. Now, if we look down at ourselves because we can now look down, this is the player width. So again, you don't really need it to be an exact dot unless you are shooting from a far range. Now, if you're shooting from mid range to short range, you're more likely to not have a dot spray because your bullets are going to be going everywhere due to the different proportion of a player would be in mid to short range fights as opposed to them being in long range. So now that we've covered how to kind of control the recoil or a good basis and foundation of how to control it and the steady steps you should take to doing this and the practice that you put in, here I've set up three flame turrets with three different ranges for me to quickly test on. Within these tests I'm going to be using the iron sight, the holographic and the four times. As well as for each go I'm going to be strafing as well as standing still. As you can see when standing still as opposed to strafing each spray will be different some will be better than others and that is kind of like the beauty of being a legit controller on this game. When you're good you can be really good but when you're bad it's very noticeable. There's no consistency in being good day in day out on the game unless you play this game religiously which is the majority of the community so that's kind of flawed my logic there. <laughs>